research technician Tyler Frederick enjoys working with dairy cattle. I like working with the animals. They all have personality. But his particular research can get a little messy. Well, it can make for interesting dinner conversations sometimes. Frederick is one of the researchers who measures the amounts of methane dairy cattle produce from their burps. Keep in mind, these emissions don't come from the back of the cow, they come from the mouth. <laughs> That's totally misunderstanding out there. Out of the total greenhouse gas emissions, methane counts for only 9%. And although the leading gas is carbon dioxide, methane traps 34 times more heat than CO2, having a big impact on climate change. And although agriculture only counts for 10% of the sources of greenhouse gases, cattle contribute uh, quite significant amount of uh, methane to, to the greenhouse gas emissions from agriculture. So Ristoff's job is to measure the amount of methane that dairy cattle give off and research how to reduce these emissions, focusing on animal nutrition and experimenting with different feeds. They then collect methane samples by strapping this contraption onto the cow and leaving it on for 24 hours. Or they use this other machine. Gets a measurement for methane and carbon dioxide from the cow exhaling and from the cow belching. They then use this machine to measure the samples. But reducing greenhouse gas emissions isn't the only reason why this research is important. And then the other thing is it's actually an energy loss to the animal. So the more methane a dairy cow gives off, the less energy she has to produce milk. And raising productivity is just what farmers want to hear. And this research doesn't just affect those in Center County. This research is going on at Penn State, but the, the total effort is worldwide. Reporting from University Park, I'm Maria Bryant for the Center County Report.